Hi there, today I'm going to show you what's inside a turbocharger. This turbo has been damaged, so if you have a look at this exhaust uh, turbine, you'll see that it's been chipped and bent. So even though it's fairly new turbocharger, it's actually no good. So we're going to pull it apart and just have a look to see what's inside. So it's a very simple turbo, there's no variable vanes as in some of the more advanced diesel engines. Now you'll notice we're missing the exhaust side of the turbocharger, and that's okay. So we're just gonna pull apart the inlet side. So before I remove the final screw, I just thought I'd give you a very quick rundown of a turbo. Um, so this here is your exhaust turbine and as the exhaust um, gases from the engine are produced it'll rotate this little turbine and that's connected via direct shaft to this air inlet turbine. So you can see that rotating as I rotate the exhaust um, turbine. Now what happens in between is this can rotate up to about 100,000 RPM so it depends on obviously the size of the turbo. Um, so that spins quite fast. So there's ball bearings typically um, within the turbo. Now, you know, modern turbochargers might have some different arrangements. Now these ball bearings inside are actually lubricated by the engine oil. So that gets fed through here. So that's just the flange face. It'd be a usual a gasket around that and oil gets fed through there. Um, and they're just a mounting bolt uh, holes and likewise with this. So that would bolt on to the engine as such. So oil in, oil out, or vice versa. I'm not too sure which one's which. Um, and that lubricates the bearings. So you can imagine they're spinning quite fast and it needs some sort of um, lubricating and cooling. And that's what the oil does. Let's pull off our last screw and have a look inside. We might need a screwdriver. You can see there's some pry points there, there, and there, because that orange gasket will actually still hold um, this cover in place. So we'll just pry it like that. Make sure, yeah, that's all right. Let's remove this face. There we go. So obviously I've broken the gasket, but that's no big deal because it is an old turbo. Um, I'll just put that there. So this is the air inlet side. So I don't know if you can tell, but obviously air goes in here and there's quite a smooth cowling that happens here. And then the air, as it gets um, spun and compressed by the turbine, will go round and round and eventually discharged through the compressed air port. Now you can see this is fairly clean. There's absolutely no oil um, from blow by or anything like that. And then you've got the actual turbine there. All right, so let's remove this turbine here and that's done through this screw. And then that'll give us access to um, some concealed torque screws. So we can take this part off the actual um, body. Now to do that, I'm just going to use a 12mm and an 8mm ring spanner. So the 12mm will just go onto that exhaust point there. And this 8mm will go here. Now, this is counterintuitive. It's actually backwards. So to actually undo it, I have to go the opposite direction. And then that should just come off like that. Yep, there we go. So that's the air inlet turbine. And you can see the various vanes and the different angles that they are pitched at. So it is quite a shiny face. So I'll put that down. And now this should, there we go, should just slide out like that. So we just got this cover plate. Let's put it over there. And we've got a shaft here. And that's stepped down as well. We've got some ceiling there. And we've got the actual exhaust turbine. Now, in a more modern diesel engine, uh, you might hear something like a variable vane turbocharger. And what that means is on the exhaust side, these vanes here can actually change angle or the pitch. 
so they can make more boost, for example, at a lower engine speed when there's lower exhaust gases uh, flowing through the turbo. Um, and that can give different power characteristics, a uh, flatter torque curve, for example, um, spool up quicker. So a few advantages, but this is obviously a very um, basic. So we'll just put that aside there. So going back to what's left, we'll undo these Torx screws, and then that face should come off from the oil gallery housing. off and now we've got pretty much our bearing and oil gallery in there take that off very interesting you can see there's some very small holes and some very small oil galleries in there Looks like there's a that hole feeds that, and that hole feeds that, and so on. And we've got this spacer, it looks like. So there's not too much more that we can actually take off. There we go. That's the contents of this particular turbocharger. So I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video, and feel free to leave your comments as well. Thanks for watching.